So this is, uh... Basically what I've seen. <laughs> I haven't even uh, launched the game past this point yet. Um... It has been, like... Uh, I don't know if comp compared is probably not the right word, but, uh... Linked to uh, games like Undertale, for example. There you go. It's it's No Man's Sky meets Dark Souls. That's there you have it. That's uh that's what you guys should expect from a uh, one shot. Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the Judge. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you have picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. If you, when the item is active, you can either combine it with other items or use it at certain locations. So it's a game. <laughs> Full screen is an option, but uh, a window is suggested. How's it going, main character? Hello? It's dark. My password is not zero 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 zero, huh? Alright, well... Nico just woke up here. Fair, fair enough. Why is there like a dot on the bin? There's like a Google like waypoint. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. There's a TV remote here. Alright, we've got the TV remote, guys. Should probably have paper ready. This seems like a game you might want notes for based on the fact that, that we've got uh, this password thing. Hold on, hold on. I need to try the most secret pass. Oh, it automatically started on that most secret password of all. Dang! I thought for sure that uh, had to be it. Disappointed. Oh, the door is locked! Alright. Um... <laughs> oh, I've got notes here. Okay. Uh, walk faster with shift. Okay. Okay. There we go. We could walk faster. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, let's see. Is that running or walking faster? There is a difference. I'm gonna check out the uh, the bathroom here. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. All right, we've uh. There's no need to do anything else to it. Alright, fair enough. The tub won't run. There's no water in the toilet. This is a terrible bathroom. Alright, well we got ourselves a uh, branch and um, a remote control. Flicky dry branch from the bathroom plant. Travel. You cannot fast travel right now. It's fair. Alright. Uh, the window? Didn't look at the window. I didn't check the other half. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That might be a problem. Soft glowing light trickles through the window. Alright, use the TV, the remote on the, uh, the computer. That's right, Ed. <laughs> this game's, uh, too hard. Like, is there anything I'm not just not seeing because it's dark? I didn't, didn't try using the uh, remote control of the, the locked door. Let me make sure I didn't like this. These are my uh, only buttons. Right? Oh wait, there's one more button. Oh, that just unequips the uh, thing I've got on right now. Can I go back to sleep? Because <laughs> appear to just be uh, locked in a. 
We uh, we just started and I'm already sitting here like, hey, I'm in the dark and nothing seems to do anything. So that's uh, that's always good. We need to MacGyver ourselves a flashlight from the remote control in the, the branch here, it seems. That's right, Ed. That's right. Um, is there anything else I could interact with? There's lots of holes. I've uh, got up to all the holes and uh, press buttons next to the holes, and they don't uh, they don't do anything. Um, is there any indication of numbers or colors anywhere in this starting area at all? I mean, I guess we might as well uh, try to interact with everything while holding the uh, remote at this point. Like try to throw the remote in the toilet with no water. About the remote into the mirror. No. Okay. That was really the only thing that I thought might do something. Oh no! See, see, it's they they, they wanted to fool you. It's actually two, three, four, five, and that's uh, certainly the ah oh, ruined. How could that not be the answer? I can't remote control the books. Already tried the uh, door, but we'll try again. Oh, wait, the remote control's not equipped anymore. Oh, I got unequipped when we used the uh, computer, I think. Uh, is that that's not the right order, is it? Where's my pin? So. I was about to just do everything again, but I noticed that it de equipped my remote. <laughs> There we go. They're marked in bright colors. What did it actually say? In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. Ah. Sure. Let's see the, uh, the light there. See, I tried... I meant to... Or I thought I tried that earlier, I think, but, uh... It, uh, auto-unequipped it there. Access granted. All right, we're master puzzle solvers now. We got this. That would have been an interesting idea, Hypersphere. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, sir. Oh man, it's uh, approximately Windows ninety-five ish. Um. All right, we have to give the uh, the computer a voice, I guess. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much remains of the or not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly... <laughs> okay, okay, I don't think, uh, you guys can't see this. Uh, let's go there real quick. You only have one shot, Twinge. Interesting. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Hey guys, we, we found out at least part of why uh, they, they wanted window mode. Do, do we, uh, okay, we've used up the, um, the remote, so we don't need that anymore, but we still have our branch. Hello? Anyone? Man, I could use a remote now. We got a TV. Oh, wait. The, the TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Well, that's because it's on the wrong channel. 
The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. Uh, ominous door. Let's look at that. Alright, there, there's a, a very large keyhole in this ominous door. I should probably just uh, have the branch, like, on hand. Okay, I can't poke that in the keyhole. Am I a cat? Um, maybe? Well, I, I am very dis- Nico might be a cat, I am not Nico. The game has already made this specifically clear. The sink won't turn on. Just a chair. Who knows what fate will rest for Cheriel. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. The refrigerator is empty. Uh, well, that's uh, something we could maybe use to light a uh, fire, I suppose. That uh, appears to be all we've got, unless we're uh, trying to dump the alcohol down at the sink or something. Get the branch. Okay, we've got a wet branch and an empty bottle now. The smell of booze lingers. Lingers, rather. So we've got a booze soaked branch now. Make uh, some sort of torch, perhaps. We could uh, we could poke that through the uh, the door. No, no, we can't. Nico is not old enough to drink. Oh yeah, right, right here, obviously. Nico readies the branch. Ah. Light it up. What's over here? Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. Doesn't even say what it is. Assumedly it was like a key. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Shockingly, it was a key. And our branch is gone. We still have the empty bottle. Can we, uh, smash, like, if, if, we, we, we need the bottle in case, like, hobos try to attack us, then we can smash the bottle and, uh, wave it at them threateningly. Well, that's, yeah, it's, of course it's blue fire. We lit, uh, lit it with a branch soaked in alcohol, therefore it has to be, uh, blue. That's how that works. The stairway immediately makes me think of, uh, Yume Nikki for <laughs> whatever reason. Oh, I can't even run down the stairs if I wanted to. Um... Oh, it's a light bulb, isn't it? That might be the uh, light bulb featured in, you know, all of the artwork for this game. <laughs> it is indeed. Alright, we are now holding a light bulb. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to run, you, you might break the light bulb. Alright, I'm gonna store the, the light bulb in the fridge. Dang. A large light bulb. It's the sun. Well, all the more reason to be uh, careful with it, I suppose. We wouldn't want to drop the sun. Um... I mean, are we technically... Yeah. I still have an empty bottle. What's left of a computer terminal? I assume that's gonna say, yeah, for all of this. Don't stare directly at the light bulb, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
so we now have the option to fast travel because we're on the moon. I mean, the moon seems like a decent, like, place to head if uh, we're holding the sun, maybe. A robot. It no longer has power. Not solar power, apparently. Maybe, maybe we just need to stand next to it for, like, a couple hours and then it'll boot up. Alright, sounds good. That's clearly uh, what we need to do next. And... What's left of a robot? Appears to be a galaxy. We got, uh... Oh, okay, this is the remains of someone's Factorio base. I understand now. Hopefully there's no biters nearby. <laughs> oh god. So that's just, uh, I was like... Alright, that's just a transition area. Went all dark, man. I'm holding the sun. I don't, uh, I don't expect it to go dark suddenly. It's surprising. You'd think that might be smaller than the sun normally is? I mean, have you looked at the sky before? Like, that seems about right. if we uh, just try to go back in here. Oh, right, that was just the uh, computer terminals and stuff. Assume, yeah, what's left of a robot. None of these rocks are interactable, although I'm not actually holding the light bulb officially. I'm only holding it. I'm not holding it. So, it seems, it seems like it should be holding something while I'm interacting with stuff. Well, that just seems prudent, really. Alright. But, okay, we can't actually access that. We can go over here, though. It's the same sort of thing. The horizon glows a faint green. Yeah, I decided to leave it on a uh, default movement to start with uh, doggies. See if that fits better uh, pacing-wise and atmospherically and such. I can't put this in a bottle, can I? No. I can't, uh, like, fill the uh, bottle with... Um, Stardust or something. Alright, we can take a uh, boat ride, it looks like. Let's uh, finish looking around first, I think. Can't uh, interact with any of these guys. And that just. Uh... No, that's not the same one, I don't think. No. Broken off section of railing. Hey, it's a bed. This bed probably looks familiar to you, Twinge. Nico first woke up in this world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically and can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. I guess I should probably stick with that computer sort of voice. <clears throat> but now is no time for rest. What if I want to sleep right now? No? Okay. Nico's, Nico's not tired. Alright. Alright, I get it. So big is this place? Maybe we do want to go on the uh, boat already. The air here is unbreathable. Alright, that's, that's fair. Uh, well, there's one other place we could go. 
Ah, whatever. That's, that's fine. <clears throat> um, hello? Chaotic evil achievement, apparently. Trying to put the, uh... Oh, maybe it thought I was trying to break the sun. I was just trying to put the sun on a stick. All right, we can't uh, beat the the boatsman with a with a rod. That's not a not an option either. All right, well let's uh, go to the right, down to the right. They they don't need to breathe oxygen, so they are superior. Another thing over there, another left robot. It's worse when you try to voice a new character based on, like, this. Just in ah. Uh, at least at least I have a picture. And like, but I'm also, like, pausing, because, like, is this uh, the computer that was narrating to me, the player, earlier? It's possible, but probably not yet. <clears throat> ah. That light bulb. You are here. M me Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I, I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar, dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Um, I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well, can you tell me about... <laughs> I just want to go home. It's, it's Undertale all over again. Uh, tell me about the sun. Can you tell me about this light bulb? I found in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your sun? Yes! Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah, but now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. <clears throat> that looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am, exactly. I can't see far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim. Not what, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. 
Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Oh. Can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. <laughs> Apparently they see the messages too. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> but I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Twinge. Twinge? Ah, that would be our god. Oh, he like lit up. <laughs> lit up there, too. If you are here, that means Twinge is here also. Twinge will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Twinge yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Twinge. An ability that no one else possesses. Nobody else possesses the ability to communicate directly with Twitch, guys. You heard it here. I can no longer interact with chat. I'm sorry. It's been a good four and a half years. But uh, I, I, I think it's done. No one else has that ability. <clears throat> An ability that no one else possesses. Certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. Alright. Hello? This is especially weird with me voicing the characters, honestly. Like, that adds, like, an extra level of uh, meta to this. Twin? Are you there? <laughs> that is not my name. I guess you, that's, you could probably just rename yourself, I'm guessing. Mm. Um, sure. Sure. Oh. N nice to meet you, twin. My name is Nico. That's what I should have done, Tricky. You're right. I, I'm I'm uh I'm now disappointed in myself for not doing that. It said it auto like wh how often does it auto save? It did say it auto save when you exited the game, but like does that count like mid dialogue or? Uh, hmm. Hmm. So now I kind of want to uh, kill it and restart it and see uh, and try that because that is that is something I want to try. I think I will try that, but let me voice this first. Actually, hurt someone. You cannot perform this action during cutscenes. I mean, can't I though? Can't I? See uh, where that takes us, though. <laughs> Might take us a little further than we uh, wanted to go, but uh, let's uh, let's see. All right. Uh, yeah, that took us uh, a little ways back. Exactly. What do you mean I can't? I'm a god. <laughs> Precisely. Weird house. Savior. Vital information. your name then <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm 
happy now. I'm happy now. <laughs> But that's what I said. N n nice to meet you, Twink. <laughs> they said their names. Maybe it was going to say that next time, because I don't think we clicked past. I actually heard so. Okay, they probably... <clears throat> I actually heard someone. They, they said their name is Twin. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Twinge for assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. Oh... I don't mean to be rude, but I... I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. Uh, okay. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Their computer terminal. 